Hey guys, Project Steel here. Ready for another episode of An Idiot's Guide to Taming. And I'm going to try something a little different this time. I've noticed right down this direction there's a Quetzal that flies around. I've only tamed a Quetzal once ever and it was with a group of friends and it was not easy, at least not for us. But I've heard about this new net attachment for the harpoon gun. So I'm going to try. I've heard it will work on a Quetzal, which kind of seems crazy to me, but we're going to give it a try. Um, just need to make the harpoon gun. Earlier I flew around and killed every duck that I could find out there in order to get all of this uh, polymer. Right, so that's a harpoon gun. And then I think you make the net in your own ammo. I'm not too familiar with the area that this is flying over, so I had a pistol. What did I do with it? I had a pistol that I got out of a drop, and I made some bullets. There it is. I'm going to carry that just in case. And go ahead and load it. Alright. And let's make a couple nets. Hopefully, we'll only need one. The net's supposed to hold it for 60 seconds, a full minute. Where is net? Net ammo. There it is. What do I need? Metal ingots. Alright. We can make one. What are we sure? Oh, fiber. Plenty of fiber. I've basically just spending a, been spending a lot of time grinding, just grinding and grinding and working on this base, and I've gotten bored, so I decided it's time to go do something. Okay. I'm not gonna need the club. All right, one other thing that I thought of is it is, I believe it's flying above water. I haven't checked to see how deep the water is, but I don't want it to drown. So I'm gonna take this horse. Because a horse <coughs> has the ability to use a lasso. There it is. Fiber and thatch. And what I can do with that lasso is if I knock the quetzal out and it is drowning, then I can supposedly lasso it and pull it out of the horse. Horse is healing. Uh, let's see. Do I need to load the net launcher? Guess so.
Oh, that's awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's make sure I've got my tranks and the crossbow. There we go. Get that loaded up. The wrong button. Now, I can't shoot off the RG's back, so I need to be flying with the jetpack to shoot it with the net. But, like I said, I'm not sure how dangerous that area is, and I really feel safer with the RG being with me. So, maybe I'll take the RG and have it follow me. Make sure he's on passive. Oops. <coughs> Here we go. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything here. Although I'm sure that I am. It's down on the far end of this, whatever you call this, ledge. Metal ledge. And like I said, there is water beneath it, but I don't really know how deep. I, and that works like the bolo kind of, but it looks cooler. And I understand it getting the smaller things like the bolo does, but apparently, like I said, it'll get a Quetzal and uh, it'll get an Allosaur, but not a Rex. But still, an Allosaur is pretty big, so it's pretty impressive. It might make things too easy. Should have left the monkey at base. Alright, I'm gonna fly over there and find him and I will catch back up to you once I do. Alright guys, I saw it just a second ago. I'm gonna go ahead and cryopod this monkey to protect him. If, if something happens and I die, he'll get he'll be killed. But I can always go back and pick up a cryopod. Let's get him to follow me. What just happened? Okay. And I saw it just a second ago. Right out here. He is really up high. Oh, he's coming down. Let's 
crap. Drop. In the water. In the water. Nope. Perfect. Oh wow, that's crazy. Oh, I still gotta trank him. Forgot about that. Make sure I know when he's knocked out. Well, crap. That minute went by really fast. Lost my bird. I think there's a cooldown before I can use this trank again. I mean, this net again. I can find my bird again. Should just cryopod at the bird. There he is. Good bird. This is my this is my last net. Shot him while he's falling. I don't know how to tell if he's knocked out. Conscious? He's, no, he is unconscious. Crap. And I'm just sitting here blasting him. I think it's a new thing now that you can grab your arrows back out of them. They're no longer trank arrows. Alright, you can land. How many times I shot him after he was unconscious? But it wasn't showing over his head. Let's get the bird. This looks like a safe area. But you can never be sure. Yeah, I think this net made taming the Quetzal way too easy. When we tame our second one, we will not use the net. We'll go at it the old-fashioned way. It'll be horrible. But that's what we're going to do. Okay. Mail.
All right, well, I'm going to hang out here. Is that a gas bag? It's a gas bag. Ooh. All right, I'm going to hang out here, the Quetzal. And I might fly around, see if I can find some prime meat. There's a Brano or something right there. We'll get this done quicker. And I will get back with you guys as soon as he is tamed up. Okay guys, I'm back at base. I tamed him up without any trouble. I did kill a Diplodocus and got some prime meat. And I used that to uh, tame him up better. But I, I messed it up, the whole tame. Because he was already unconscious and I didn't know it and I continued shooting him. And it almost killed him and caused the taming percentage to go down to, I think it was like 28%. So he didn't gain any levels. He was level 6 when I got him and he's tamed up at level 6. So he's almost dead. I'm going to throw him out here and let him heal. And I'm going to see, oh he has leveled up now. And I'm going to see what it takes to make a saddle for him. Um, for anybody that's not familiar with the Quetzal, you can put a platform saddle on it the same as you can the Brano. And that allows you to build on the saddle. And I've had little experience with them. Because the one I had before with a group of friends, it was so slow. We just didn't use it. But from my understanding, if it has enough stamina, it can just stay up in the air for extremely long periods of time so hey, I'm sure survivor. that I'm sure there's some use for him I'll just have to figure it out I was shocked at how easy that net attachment made it it might be a little OP and of course even I managed to mess that up by continuing to shoot him once he was unconscious, but it is what it is. So this is what I've got going on with the base so far. This is the kitchen. I've done lots of grinding, getting metal and all that. I've, I have not run electricity out here yet. But I figure this kitchen's way bigger than I'm ever going to need a kitchen. I'm just one man. So I decided I'm going to go up. The second floor will be my greenhouse. So the greenhouse will be above the kitchen. So I can get the berries and come down and put them in the pressure cookers once I get those or anything like that. Down there again is going to be storage. And then it's going to be the war room or the planning room on top of it. And the reason I stretched it out this far... It may sound silly, but it's it's for the view. Down here is going to be no view in the storage, but in the top, the whole front will be windows, and a pretty good view. I was going to go right over and set it right on the edge for a perfect view, but that's just too long. And down here on the side somewhere, I'm going to have maybe a weapons room and a bedroom. This little hutch here hanging off the side is my generator room. I didn't realize I left it running. I don't need it on right now. I've got nothing running off the generator. I have run power from the generator over here to power up my chemistry station. And I'm going to stuck a light here. Because I needed to run this to make more narcotics and gunpowder so I can get some bullets for this pistol. So that's what I've got going on right now and I, I'm i really thinking that net gun might be really uh, overpowered. I'm kind of surprised at how that went. That was um, really overpowered in my opinion. But that's alright. 
Where's my bird? I was gonna go ahead and stick a sink in. I might do that now. While the uh, Quetzal's healing up. Alright, if you don't know too much about the building in this and you want to know some more, here's a trick that I've learned on my own. The way this is hovering, it looks kind of silly, so I'm going to end up putting a couple supports under it, but it doesn't need them. Because what I did was, I put the foundation directly under it. If the foundation is directly under it, then it doesn't have to have stilts or anything. I imagine it does have to be attached on one side to something, the way it's attached to this, and this is attached to that one on the end, which is on stilts. But you can go out two ceilings without any support. So I just put the foundation in the outer ring of the floor here. So it's in line with these here. And the inside is one, two, so that's all I had to do was put a foundation beneath in the shape of this outer ring directly underneath this outer ring and it'll stay up here. But like I said, for me everything has to look cosmetically decent so it's just the way I am. So I am going to put a couple stilts. I'm missing something. I enjoy building the bases. I like it a lot. But all the grind gets really boring. I will grind for a while and build and grind and build and then I just gotta go do something. That's why I decided to get the Quetzal. He wasn't the next on my list. The Thylacolia was what I want next, but I was picking up drops and I'd seen him twice and I'd heard about the net gun, so I was like, hey, let's give this a shot, see what happens. So this is going to be my sink. The last time I was using these, there was some glitch and they were putting a giant green ring everywhere. That may be fixed. Alright, now let me make some water pipes. Found a couple metal intake valves and the metal spouts, but... I didn't find any metal pipes themselves. Okay. I think I'll be able to go straight down. <clears throat> we will see. I'm playing on the Xbox One, that's why you see lag in the graphics. Unfortunately. Now, I don't understand why it always does that. It... It makes it... If I put the pipe in the direction I'm facing, then when I put this tap on it, the tap is facing I'm facing. And that's not what I want. Of course, I got a wall here now, so this is messing me up. I keep forgetting that I've got a flying suit. Oh, there we go. No, there we go. I'm gonna mess that up. Ah. Oh, come on, let me grab it.
This is much harder on the other maps when I do this. Usually I have to use a tapiera. Okay. Try this again. All this just to make it pretty. Kind of weird, uh. Did I do it again? Now I'm getting aggravated. Oh! There's a lot of drops appearing. I don't know. I can't remember if that color is any good or not. There we go. That's good enough. That's not what I wanted, but that's good enough. Alright, I'll put that there. It's a little higher than I wanted, but... Yeah. We'll make it work. I'd like to put these in here to make them look a little bit like cabinets. And that looks like the sink in the middle of the cabinets. I think I might be able to just go straight down. direction <laughs> that's frustrating it's very frustrating yeah. oh come on the water's not deep enough Requires connection in water. Okay, what if we put a cross? This is gonna look like crap. I didn't want this. And then we'll come off with this. Not low enough. Hmm. Hmm. Let me try that. Let me try a stone intake and see if it's any different. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Oh, there it is. I don't have enough rock. Huh. If it's going to tell me this water's not deep enough, I'm going to be pretty upset. Hmm. Okay, I got an idea. There. And 
then I have no idea if this is gonna work. We'll run a flexible one. A flexible stone pipe. <laughs> that. take this piece out but I don't know okay. <laughs> and there we go a nice sink it would be better if it was pushed further back but that was enough trouble as it was well alright guys I hope my plumbing didn't bore you but we tamed a Quetzal, and I will get a platform saddle for it and see what interesting things we can end up doing with that. And uh, that was way too easy. We'll tame another one maybe when we go to Ragnarok, and we'll do an old school crazy method like hang from the grappling hook or something. I don't know. It'll be a lot more exciting. But... If I can tame it, you can definitely tame it. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.